Alright boys, this is it. We are living in historic times. The LEGO Star Wars 501st Legion Clone Troopers Battle Pack has arrived. That is a real thing that I just said. And we are reviewing one of the greatest LEGO sets of all time today. The set number is 75280. The recommended ages are 7 and up. And it has a piece count of 285. While it is the best $30 you're going to spend on any LEGO Star Wars set in your lifetime. Obviously, huge thanks goes out to Ryan and everybody involved with the campaign that he started on his channel at the end of 2018 to make this happen. Honestly, I didn't think we would see the day, but here we are. The 501st Legion has been iconic in my life, and I assume yours since Revenge of the Sith came out, and obviously the Clone Wars cemented them as some of the coolest characters in all of Star Wars, led by Anakin, of course, and Ahsoka while she was still a Jedi, and even while she wasn't in the Siege of Mandalore. I got this at a local toy store thanks to a suggestion from Ryan himself. The new LEGO Star Wars sets are slowly hitting targets in the US. Not mine though, which is why, again, I had to get it from my local toy store. However, this is amazing. Thank you to LEGO. So, let's get started. Okay, here we go with the 501st Trooper. Of course, you get three of these guys. No officer, no bull****. Lego is not screwing around. This minifigure is fantastic. Lego has developed an excellent 501st Trooper here. There are a couple things I would change, but I just want to say straight up that I absolutely love what Lego did here. Man, we have official new 501st Troopers, guys. Let's, let's just acknowledge that. But of course, I do have to acknowledge the very interesting design decisions Lego made here in merging the animated clothes Clone Wars style designs with the realistic movie style designs for the clones. So what you wind up with here is a Clone Wars animated style visor, animated style vents, animated style breastplate, animated abdomen, realistic movie style belt, and then you have the movie knee pads all to make for one big combo of the two styles. Whereas previously, Lego would always opt for one one or the other. You see, back in 2013, when LEGO made their first 501st Trooper, they completely committed to the Clone Wars animated style design. And then when they would make clones for the movies, they committed to the more realistic designs reflected in Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. I'm sure you can already see there are some pretty huge differences, and if you've been in the LEGO Star Wars community long enough and you've seen enough custom clones, you can recognize those differences pretty much instantly. But I gotta say, I really only look very closely at my own custom minifigures now. Official LEGO minifigs always wind up on a display, on a shelf somewhere, or in a mock, and this is really not going to bother me. I'd also like to acknowledge how great the helmet printing is, especially how great the mouth design turned out, and I love the shading within the cheeks. And then really quick, here's a look at the back of the torso. Now, two of the 501st clones come with the standard LEGO blaster, which I'm so happy about. This is really a set for the fans because they didn't throw in the stuff shooters for playability. You already have enough of those on the vehicles themselves as you'll see in a minute. But they did throw in a little bit of variety because one of the clones does have the longer rifle with this barrel piece attached on which is definitely really nice as well. Kind of emulating the DC-15 rifle and then as always um, we can kind of assume that the shorter blasters are the DC-15A carbine as we've always kind of assumed. And then if we go ahead and remove the helmet underneath we've got that brand new Tamira Morrison likeness. Look at that new head with the proper skin tone, ladies and gentlemen. That is the man himself, Tamira Morrison, the guy we all know and love, the clone template from New Zealand. This is just an excellent new design change. I am so glad LEGO has finally done this. It is just, I mean, man, it, not only is it just generally a better likeness to Tamira Morrison, um, but I gotta say, man, I, I just really appreciate the change in skin tone. It is so much more accurate now, and it just looks fantastic. We had those white, fleshy clone heads for way too long, ever since we were kids. This is definitely a much-needed change, and what a great set to debut them in. 
Now, if there's one thing I would change about the 501st Trooper, it's definitely what LEGO has already done in the past with the Clone Wars 501st Trooper of 2013 and basically just apply blue arms and a black belt piece instead. I think this makes the 501st Troopers way, way more vibrant and I knew this was going to make them look better. I personally don't know how I feel about all the 501st Troopers having the white arms and the white belt. They just kind of, I don't know. No, it, it just it, they seem a little bit unnecessarily bland when doing it this way and I think the blue arms and the black belt were definitely the much better option here especially considering the leg printing uh, kind of is supposed to connect with a black midsection but unfortunately that is a white belt piece so it does look kind of awkward on the official minifigure so I wish the 501st troopers looked like this but obviously um, it's nothing a few Brickling orders can't fix now the 501st jet trooper i'm so happy like i made this look at this it's just fantastic this is of course a little bit different featuring its own set of unique helmet designs as they appear in the siege of mandalore however as you can see the torso design is a little different still maintaining that merge style between the animated look and the realistic movie look however you can see the chest plate is a little bit different to match those markings of the jet troopers unfortunately there is a a discrepancy here because the legs are inaccurate. The legs are just rehashed from the regular 501st Troopers, whereas the Jet Troopers in the show do have their own unique knee and leg designs where uh, most of their lower legs are totally blue. I do really like how LEGO went with the blue arms though, just like the 501st Troopers. I think that is definitely a necessary decision there and it makes the clones look that much more vibrant and I think that this is definitely uh, the standard they should have gone with as I just mentioned but it's okay at least we got them on the jet trooper here he's also sporting a blue jetpack which is very cool I've never seen these molded in blue and again it just really makes those colors pop I mean the blue just stands out so much more on the jet trooper here if we go ahead and remove the helmet of course you do have the Tamura Morrison head back again there it is Django Fett the clone template just a fantastic fantastic head and he does have a standard blaster as well still so glad Glad there are no stud shooters but guys let me tell you these minifigures are excellent these clones are excellent say what you will about the design decisions I personally don't mind I am so glad these minifigures exist I'm just so glad this set exists and it's just wild then we've got two lonely battle droids here included in a 501st clone troopers battle pack and so Lego definitely did not have to throw in a couple droids but my god am I so glad they did this really is the ultimate set. Not only are you building up your 501st Legion, but you're also slowly building up the CIS with a couple battle droids in each of these battle packs. All right, getting started with the actual set. We're going to move the 501st Legion clone troopers aside for a moment along with the two battle droids so we can focus in on the 501st battle packs vehicles. As you can see, included with this set, we have the bar Bark Speeder and the ATRT. Now we're gonna start off with the Bark Speeder for now. This is already the best bark speeder we have ever had. It's really simple, but also really accurate, and I absolutely love what they did with the front angular pieces, and the stickers are amazing on this back slope, adding so much detail. We have blasters, actually regular blasters with black lightsaber hilts installed on these clips here, and then you can also see on the front, we've got a pair of stud shooters for our battle droids, but before we get to that, we also have these fantastic handlebars, which I think look really, really good. And we've got a 1x2 available space for our 501st Trooper to be seated on the Bark Speeder and get ready to deploy into the Clone Wars, the false war created by Palpatine that ultimately amounted to nothing for them. But that's okay, because this guy has got stud shooters like I just said and whether that's to wipe out Jedi or just some clankers for today we are uh, gonna try them out give them a test run I imagine you know how stud shooters work you press down on the gray lever they fire and 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 I missed every review this happens every time again did I, uh, almost one two 
Five. Oh, I missed. Again. All right, well, here. God damn it. And boom. I'm gonna cry. That's what's gonna happen, okay? I'm gonna cry. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cry. It's, it's not working out. Things in life have just not really been working out at all. And, and you know, that's okay. That's okay. We don't, oh, I, oh, I was about to say, we don't always get what we want in life, but sometimes we do. As you can see, the stud shooters are just really, really great. And that totally worked the first time. Absolutely no problems. I'm very good at aiming stud shooters, as you can see, but I absolutely love this design and it's a really reasonable size. And like I said, I think this is by far the best bark speeder Lego has ever made. And you probably already guessed that I'm also going to say that yes, this is the best ATRT Lego has produced as well. I absolutely love this version. Now let's be real, Lego ATRTs have never ever been quite to scale. So that's still a problem here. Yes, it's still a little bit big. Maybe it is still a little bit wide. And of course it does share similarities to previous ATRTs. I think I only have the one from last year from 2019 here to compare, but there have been similarities shared between ATRTs since the first one in 2005. This one is no different. I mean, you can really only use the same pieces anyway to make these legs and to use the dishes on the sides and the flaps on the top. And I mean, this they're, they're generally from this point on, I think, making it clear that they're, they're, they're kind of going to look the same in some ways um, and, and in a lot of ways. And that's totally OK. Um, there are clearly more differences this time, though, Lego only using the same pieces and the same general structure, mostly around the legs here and with the dishes that are used on the sides um, and the kind of the main body here. But generally, they are different. And this one utilizes some smaller flap pieces as you can see here with stickers on pretty much each one of these pieces aside from the dark blue flaps here and so you have the 501 uh, for the 501st stickers here and here which is really really cool and we also have this sticker here for some added detail with the arrow right there in the center on this 1x2 blue cheese slope we have more stickers there and the whole design just continuing as this gray stripe with battle damage down onto this blue 2x2 tile as well. On the back you can see we have a couple extra clips integrated into the design with the macro binoculars hooked in here in place and then on this right clip of course we can attach one of the extra blasters. I always say this when I get the chance to review Lego sets. I love when Lego integrates clips and different methods of storage into their designs for sets so that we don't have accessories lying all over the place. This is really great. Bringing us to our next stud shooter so you know what that means here we go again but hang on one second let's get a jedi who have we got let's grab a jedi this this jedi whoever it's going to be does not come with the set but who we who, who do we got who, oh, okay we got barris off me hell yeah exactly who i wanted for this not included but here we go I need a 501st Trooper for this, or it's going to be really awkward. As a matter of fact, I actually haven't shown you how the 501st Trooper goes on the walker, so let's do that first. Hang on, I'm getting ahead of myself. A 1x2 available space right there on the top. Handlebars clipped in here, nice and snug. Take your 501st Trooper and prepare to enact Protocol 66. The inhibitor chips are going off, ladies and gentlemen, and they include all Force sensitives and any potential Jedi, and especially former Jedi, even if they destroy a temple hangar. So, here we go. Ready? Push down on the gray lever and fire. 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 God damn it. Fire! I missed again. This is just my life now. We're reloading, and guess what? We're refocusing on our goals. And one, two, Three, fire! fire. <laughs> I'm done. Actually, wait, I kind of need to finish reviewing this set, so uh, come back here, Mr. ATRT. We're all good here. It's fine. We're fine. Barisofi is not fine. We'll just pretend like that worked. We're all good here. Now, with all of that out of the way, you can see 
the rest of the ATRT, including this printed control panel on the top with this dark gray one by two cheese slope. That is just absolutely fantastic. And I'm so glad that isn't a sticker. That is just such a great piece. And I absolutely love that. And before we move on further down the body of the ATRT, we've got these flaps that of course, as you probably guessed, do pose and can be bent and adjusted however you like but generally you want to keep these folded in and kind of have the four of them meeting together kind of at an angle like that and now the legs articulated in basically the exact same places you would come to expect they're just of course the basic hinge bricks that we all know and love and these discs are trying to fall off on me but of course they are articulated right there at the thigh and then we have the knee joint as well with these hinge bricks We've got a sticker on the sides of both ankles for the ATRT here and then of course on this side as well and that is why I just said both sides isn't it and then we also have the hinge for the feet which is a little bit more limited but totally okay and then finally we've got the little clip for this toe piece so uh yeah ATRTs have toenails ladies and gentlemen one last thing that I think is worth mentioning for both the ATRT and the bark speeder is that you even have studs on the side so you you can kind of have clones pretty much all geared up riding together into Umbara or maybe into the Jedi Temple or maybe Mandalore or any one of the Outer Rim sieges and guys this is one of my favorite Lego sets of all time. We've got our battle droids back here, even though they've been a little bit absent. There they are, our little mini Matthew Wood minifigures, the sound designer of Lucasfilm. And that's going to do it for my 501st Battle Pack review. Thank you for watching. This has been a great video brought to you by Lego Bob 35 and I will say, this is absolutely worth picking up at that $29.99 price point. This is just, I, I cannot praise this set enough. Guys, it's the 501st Battle Pack. I would sincerely hope you're not still watching this boring video and you're actually trying to find a way to pick up this set for yourself. I cannot believe we now have the opportunity to build our own 501st Legion. This is just incredible. Of course, pick these up within reason as they first come out so everybody has a chance to get one initially and then slowly get as many as you want, probably closer to the holidays because we're all just trying to be happy in the middle of what's going on in the world. So yeah, that's it though. Let's look at the box and the other sh as always, the box is 100% a box made of cardboard and the graphic, which was just amazing to see for the first time on LEGO's Twitter when they announced this set, appears to be taking place, I believe, either on Seleucami or that might be the moon of Concordia. I don't know, um, but either way, we have all of the amazing 501st Troopers in their glory with the two battle droids on the bottom there. The 332nd Ahsoka Trooper render up there in the top right. Check that out. We've got our 501st Jet Trooper sporting the actual size reference. What a guy. And then on the back, as you can see, the secondary graphic looking really great here as well. We've got a battle droid surrendering. We've also got the Skywalker Saga. Play it in the Skywalker Saga. I have no idea what that means, but if it means there's going to be a level in in the Skywalker Saga with the 501st Legion. That means Clone Wars missions and it gets me very excited or these clones will just be playable and that's totally cool too. But yeah. Finally, the finale you guys have been waiting for to Star Wars The Clone Wars right here. We're going past the Siege of Mandalore into the back of the manual of the 501st Battle Pack. Mysteries are revealed as we take a look at page 77. But beyond page 77, we have a super cool nostalgic ad with 3PO and R2-D2 for the Skywalker Saga. And then we've got a full 
graphic, debuting all the minifigures from the new lineup of summer Star Wars sets, which all look really great, by the way. And uh, man, is it so cool to see a Season 7 Ahsoka with 332nd Trooper already right there coming out this year. And I was just really thinking there were no Clone Wars sets coming out um, this year. So this has just been a really great, pleasant surprise. And then we've got the Baby Yoda debut right there as well. Got the Razor Crest coming coming up soon cannot wait for that more of the lego star wars summer 2020 line these graphics actually depicting the sets themselves and they all look really really fantastic though i am hoping future waves will be a little less saturated with remakes either way you can see we have all the other sets that came out just before it advertised on a separate graphic here as well generally i don't care about the backs of instruction manuals anymore but uh lego seems to care again so i decided to to show it and that is it for this video all right everybody and there you go that's it for my review on the 501st battle pack an absolute dream set come true and I, again, have to say, this is now one of my favorite LEGO sets of all time. One last time, congratulations to Ryan and everybody involved with that campaign. He started to make this set happen. We have a 501st Legion Battle Pack. This set is amazing. Find a way to get it. And on that note, if you enjoyed the review, maybe found it informative, and if you want to help the channel make its way into the YouTube algorithm, definitely drop the video a like below. Otherwise, I'd love to hear your feedback back down in the comments anything I missed or anything you agree with or disagree with or don't care about or maybe you don't even care to comment that's okay too other than that though you can of course always catch me over on patreon first posting all the progress I'm making toward future showcases and all the long form more in-depth videos I'm gonna be bringing over there as soon as I'm done reviewing these new Clone Wars sets picking up the AAT tomorrow so been kind of busy with these however as always of course you can catch me over on Instagram Twitter Facebook and now TikTok as well posting all of my Photoshop edits that I do of my custom minifigures as I make them when they're ready for photos. Otherwise, I, I'm doing these montage versions of my tutorials now. I posted one on Instagram and then the first one over on TikTok as well. Of course, it's all at MGF Customs. So with all of that self promo out of the way, I just realized I forgot to put the bark speeder in the shot and um, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care. See piece the C piece count is two hundred and eighty five.